What's up guys? Welcome to Google Motoring YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the parts that you will need if you want to do a three-stage intake manifold conversion for your BMW um, 328i, the E90 or the E92. They came equipped with the N52 engine producing 230 horsepower and 200 pound-foot of torque. So the first thing you're going to need is the three-stage intake manifold itself. So let me kind of do a close-up of that uh, manifold right here. And then what you can't see here, but what's attached to the uh, um, intake manifold are the DESA valves. So here's one DESA valve, valve that's already attached there. And then the second DESA valve is attached here. But yeah, so here's what the, the three-stage intake manifold looks like. All right, so that's the first thing you're gonna need. You're gonna need a three-stage intake manifold with the DESA valves. Um, and you know, that's something that the BMW 330i uh, from 2006 had, and that the you know the 328i that was released in 2007 did not. All right, so that's the first thing you're gonna need. All right, guys, so we just saw the, um, the three-stage intake manifold that you'll need. So the next thing that you're gonna need is the actual tune, right? You're gonna to need to have a tune for the car, and that tune's gonna basically tell the car computer that you know you now have a three-stage intake manifold with these valves in the engine as opposed to the single stage uh, that comes their stock. So you gotta tell the computer that. And there's a couple of different ways you can do that. One of the one of the ways is I think is you can she can ship the car computer to uh, Active Auto Works or whoever uh, else you're gonna use. Um, you know, to, to get the tune, or you can buy the Simon 3 cable that looks like this. Okay, so this thing can just sort of plug into your car computer, and you're then able to. Here's the the cable that you would be plugging into. You know, here. Can I show you? So, gotta plug that in here. And then um, you plug that into the computer, and then you can um, transfer the information into onto your PC. And you email that information to Active Auto Works or whoever else is going to be uh, providing the tune. Um, and they email you an email file back. You whatever they email you, you put it back um, on this Simon 3 cable, and then you well, plug it back into the car. And that's how the how the tune works. So. Obviously, buying the Simon 3 cable is a little bit more expensive than buying the, just the tune itself, but it's a lot more convenient, uh, and it doesn't require you having to ship your car computer um, for it to be, you know, tuned um, at, at the tuner shop. So you can just kind of, much more convenient. So I would heavily recommend getting one of those. All right, guys, so I just showed you the three-stage intake manifold um, and the tune, and that in itself can be, uh, you know, that that is a three-stage intake manifold conversion, right? And, you know, if, that you know the tune and the mod works as advertised. You should be able to um, get your N52 to produce uh, the same horsepower and torque numbers as what the uh, N51 and the 330i was producing, which is 255 horsepower, and I think 220 pound-foot of torque. Now, um, what you can also do uh, to further you know gain more horsepower and torque is you can install what are called the uh, headers, right? Um, you can buy these from different manufacturers. I think the ones that are probably the most well-known ones are, you know, from Active Auto Works. So there, there are two pieces that, you know, the headers, there's two of them. So let me kind of show you what the first one looks like, and I'll show you what the second one looks like. Okay, so it's actually... A little, little heavy, not too heavy, but here's what those, uh, what the first piece looks like. Okay. 
guess that's one of the headers. Let me show you the second one. So obviously installing these two ports will, I think, result in there being more uh, air within your engine bay, which is going to help um, increase uh, horsepower and the torque ratings further. So whenever you're, um, you know, putting these ports together, right, if you're putting the three-stage intake manifold that you see right there and these um, active um, or active outer work headers, if you're installing them, obviously you want to get, you know, you want to get a tune that's going to, you know, be optimized for both of these mods together right so uh, the exact tune for just a three stage intake manifold uh, conversion without the installation of the uh, headers may not be the same as the one that you would be putting in the car computer if you're doing both of these mods right so uh, so just kind of keep that in mind i mean that's not something that you have to worry about especially if you buy a tune you know from a from a reputable tuner like AA. Uh, I mean, you just kind of tell them what you have, and um, they have different tunes that they can, um, you know, pr put into the car to, to make sure you're getting the maximum horsepower um, output. So that's it for this video. I quickly wanted to just show, sort of show you um, what the parts look like uh, before they go into the car. Um, and, uh, there you go. So hopefully uh, all of these ports do what they're supposed to and the tune works as advertised. And, uh, you know, we get the maximum uh, horsepower out of, output out of this uh, that we can. I right, appreciate your watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, share the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, and of course, uh, probably the next video is gonna be uh, me telling you uh, what the car feels like uh, to drive with, uh, you know, these uh, modifications. All right. Thanks, guys.